Hi folks, I'm Marty and I'd like to do a how-to tutorial to show you how to connect an EV3 Lego brick to Simulink via Wi-Fi and also use USB and Bluetooth. So first of all, as you can see here, I've got my EV3 running and I'm using my N150 dongle and what it's actually running is in Simulink. I'm running the closed loop system. So as you can see there, and that's that's it running. So what we'll do first, I'll just turn that off. So let's just hit that button, and I'll show you the procedure we will use. So first of all, we need to upgrade Simulink packages to 14.21 and 14.24. Then we need to install um, the 1.06H firmware on the EV3 on the EV3 brick, not 1.09H, which is incompatible. And that was the problem I found was that 1.09 and Simulink weren't um, compatible. So I go back to 106 and it works fine. Then I'll show you how to install the Netgear N150 Wi-Fi dongle and then we'll connect with Simulink. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go into MATLAB and we'll run this line here, support package installer. And by the way, I'll put all these links and comments below in the description so you don't have to come back and find them. So we run the package installer and that'll bring up this window. We then scroll down to Lego Mindstorms EV3 and we need to install 1.24 and 1.21. So again, Lego Mindstorms EV3 and then install those two and go next. And just follow the lines. I won't go through it. It takes about 10 minutes. So first of all, update Simulink. The next thing you want to do is we want to go to the internet and we want to find the firmware download for 1.0H6 bin. So again, I'll put this link in the description below. So download, download that to your downloads folder. Once it's in your downloads folder, we go to tools, firmware update, and that'll bring up this window. You click expand details to bring this window up. And what you need to do is with that bin file you've downloaded into downloads, you need to copy it into this directory so that it shows here. Once it shows here, you can click on it and then um, connect your EV3 brick to your laptop or computer with the USB cable and download 1.06. So it'll put 1.06 on your firmware update. Once you've done that, we can then install our dongle. So let's get rid of that. And the dongle we need is the N150 wireless USB adapter. And over here, we just go buy now and buy it. Um, it takes about a day or so to arrive, no problems. But when it does arrive, it's pretty easy. You just plug the dongle into the side of the brick, turn the, well, turn the brick on first, put the dongle in, finds it automatically. You go into Wi-Fi setup. It's, it's pretty standard, pretty, pretty plug and play. You go to Wi-Fi options, and then you select your network. So if we go in, what have we done here? We haven't seen that before. So let's go back to settings. So if we go into Wi-Fi, see that properly. We click on Wi-Fi, it takes a few seconds to set up, then we go to connections and we select our connection of our Wi-Fi. So as you can see there, I've, I'm on the Big Pond network, which is my local area in my house, and we select that and we're on. We need to put a passcode in, of course, for WPA2. Um, pretty easy, but that'll connect you to Wi-Fi. So just to double check that, we can actually go to the command window, go run, CMD, so if we run the CMD and go OK, and we go ping. Also, if we go back to our, um, our brick here, if we go down to brick info, if we've installed our brick uh, Wi-Fi correctly, we'll now have an IP address there. So as you can see, it's 192.168.0.8, and that'll be different for everybody. So let's go back to here. So just to check that works. So ping 192.168.0.8 and ping that. And there you go, pinging perfectly. So the Wi-Fi connection's there. So let's go into Simulink now and connect. So to connect, we go into Tools, go to Run on Target Hardware and Options. Wait a second. And that'll bring up our window. And as you can see here, we've only got the option of an IP address. 
So for starters, we can't do a USB connection and we can't do Bluetooth. Um, I've seen a couple of blogs on it, too much working around, too much hassle. Just do the Wi-Fi much easier. So we put our um, Wi-Fi address in there, IP address in there, 192.168.0.8. We then hit, sorry for that, we then hit OK. We then have our source program. So if you go back to um, MATLAB, they'll actually give us some example packages. So if you go, I'll, I'll put this link down as well, but there's some samples to show you how to connect your hardware and some basic programs. So I've just used the drive with PID control closed loop. So let's look at that again. There it is. There's our program that's supplied for us. All we have to do is just deploy to hardware. Now this takes about a minute. It's a bit longer than the, um, than the Lego software. As you can see, the blue light's flickering on the, on the Wi-Fi dongle. So let's just watch the prog progress bars. Yeah, 20% complete. Just preparing now if you find this video useful please like it that way it'll get to the top of the ranking and other people will be able to find it too um, also please subscribe to my channel now that I've got it connected to Simeon link I'll start putting out all sorts of great little robots like inverted balances and so on um, and I'll show you some more stuff I can do so there you go um, we've made a connection it's running the model it's going to the robot it's driving the wheels and there you go, it's running forward very slowly, but it's running and it's working. Anyway, all the best guys. I hope it works for you. Um, catch you later. Cheers.